So there is this heavy, heavy storm outside. It's crazy. <gasps> oh. You see there? Oh, where's that from? Your scooter is gonna fail. Whoa. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take off the glass in case we're gonna step on it. Don't come near here. This is by far the most wildest storm we experience here in the Philippines. Whoa. Good morning. I think it's 5.30 and last night we might have had one of the wildest storms in the Philippines we ever experienced before. So and I think we were like watching a movie. It was like 9 p.m. and all of a sudden we hear this like really hot like loud wind around the house and then a lot of things breaking down but we were not really sure what actually was breaking or what was like what was damaged but now it's daylight and we're gonna have a look but oh the, yeah. the wind the blue is slip is here yeah <gasps> see here Crazy. so this whole place just Came down. It's a crazy day to start for an owner. Yeah. We could look. That's why we really don't have Wi-Fi last night. <coughs> Whoa! So this whole box was first hanging. This is like with the internet. Internet. You see, like all the cables here are like stretched out. Ay, ay, ay. You see, this metal is all bended. Crazy. Mm. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, but because they just attach it with a nail. Yeah. Over there? I think so, yeah. God, yeah. This is a big thing to, at to attach. Yeah. On a nail. Oh, and this table is totally smashed. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, you see here this cable. It came down. I think you have to be careful that it won't be like loaded with electricity. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. So there was here this big metal roof, but that all came down. And I guess just the sound when that thing came down, I think it just somehow like smashed against our house. That was pretty terrifying. Yeah. Look over there. Is that another neighbor? This roof? Oh, over there, yeah, that could be the roof from someone. Oh, yeah. I feel a bit so like anytime it can just fill again on me. Mm. So, now in the last six months since we have been in the Philippines, I think we already experienced like uh, an earthquake, this big storm. It was, uh, it's pretty intense uh, with uh, weather in the Philippines. You know the neighbor thinks like like you're doing you're making a video about it and then for them it is nothing oh <laughs> look here look so from what for tree is this uh the, co the coconut tree oh my god it just blew so Imagine this is you're walking and some something like this just blew on you is it heavy no i mean for us it's not nothing but of course with you, this is something, this is a big thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this is like a... Uh, <laughs> well, but this day already starts a bit different than we were expecting. Because today we're going to go to a waterfall. But I think that's going to be quite a challenge to see uh, how beaten up the road will be to the waterfall. Uh. So if you uh, check here, like this is where we are, Akita Pawan. 
and this yellow area that is moderate and here this is like the extreme area is this like where your your mom lives my, my mom lives oh that's there. more there over there oh yeah but just imagine like our house is pretty steady mm. and uh, still for us for our house it was like we could really feel the storm imagine like if your house is a little bit less stable your roof will come off that is crazy so i don't know how smart it is for today but we are still planning to go to the waterfall but probably like the water won't be blue but brown that's why brown. I, don't, I don't understand <laughs> The thing is, we actually have no idea where is it exactly. Just the barangay. We 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 can ask this guest a bit. Hello, ga balan niyo asa ang Kansal Falls. Kansal Falls. hard to walk this it's uphill I have the backpack oh crazy but it's something it's better than be on the scooter this road is so rocky that we are not even able to drive together on the scooter because it just will slow down the scooter that bad and I guess we, otherwise we will get soon a flat tire but it makes us a super tiger What? I already regret this. You? Yeah. Regret this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> hope the waterfall is worth it, but this is a lot. Yeah, look at this right there, too, about the rain. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but like, I don't like this to be like all for nothing. <laughs> well, it's, it's not even funny. Well, I'm not super happy about it either, but uh, let's. I guess we're pretty close now. Let's try to. Uh, do the last bit. Hello. Hi. Oh, I think it's right there. Oh, no one is there here? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So look now. So it's mostly like when you drive on those uh, rocky roads, it's like you mostly have no uh, reception. Plus that if you get a flat tire, it's gonna probably like take a long time before you find someone who can help you with that. Anybody? Just makes it all a bit uh, dangerous. Uh, so we all have to go down from there, 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 and then there. I see the water. That looks pretty amazing. Uh, oh yeah, I just want to jump in the water over there. Wow, so we, the reason why we stayed in Kidapawan is because of the nature. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of waterfalls around. I guess if you want to visit the other waterfalls, we need not a scooter but like a motorbike. Uh, because with the scooter, it's super difficult to reach the waterfalls. Yeah. Well, I guess this was worth the ride. Uh, this looks amazing, uh, and it's a super cold. Woo! I think we have to head home soon because it might gonna rain and that's this probably like the last place we want to be when it's gonna rain. Uh. I guess the most waterfalls we visited before they always require us to pay a small fee, but this one was free of charge. Thailand we pay something like 50, right? Yeah. Some are free but some have to pay. The crazy thing is like in when we were in Thailand, we observe a lot of price difference between local people and foreigners. But here in the Philippines, we never really observe that. 
Right. Everyone pays the same. So Rick is all always curious about this this place here, okay? And then I thought this is just like one place, but there's actually two. It's perfect for mixed couple because here on the left they offer like club sandwich, cheese, uh, you know, burgers like for foreign people who like, you know, what they prefer to eat. And then here, on the, on the left side is for Filipino. Oh, oh, it's for Filipino people. They have something with rice. So the question I get really often is like, how often do you eat rice, Rick? Well, I eat a lot more rice than before, but this happens as well often. It's like I having like a club sandwich with a bubble tea and you're having what is this rice with, with? chicken and what is this sir? Uh, that's shomai shomai what what is this made from? depends different kind of meat but I think that's pork ah pork 